Will this be good? Let's take a look. <laughs> See, judging competitions that have a Jack and Jill format are not entirely subjective. There are some fundamental skills that are more objective, like being able to control the technique. And, you know, if this is interpreted from a kinesthetic perspective, it would mean just being able to lead and follow your partner without causing pain. Now, if we're talking visually, this would boil down to being able to replicate conventional swing dance moves. Now, of course, if we just judge competitions on those two things, and if every competitor could do those standards, everybody would win. Yay! But you and I know judging competitions is more than that. There's tremendous value placed on how a dancer uses their unique personality with those fundamentals. This is what makes them special to the audience and the judges. The hard part about all of this is being able to randomly do this with a partner to live music in front of a live audience. So I'm gonna be looking for the couple who matches each other's tone in the most natural way. I'm also gonna be looking for the most creative moment that I would want to add to my own dance cachet. But before I do that, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24 hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. All right, it's time to be judgmental.
first off, I just got to say congratulations to all of these participants. I think we forget how challenging it is to really capture the essence of jazz dancing. At its core, jazz and even the concept of swing is rooted in improvisation, which is not always easy to do if you, you know, feel uninspired or nervous or just flat out scared. It could be so much easier to just copy someone else's style rather than working to show your own ideas. So I'm always appreciative of those who try something new, regardless if it's perfect. I mean, you have to remember it's the creativity that ends up having the greatest impact on the art more than just perfecting the technique. Both are important, but the latter can't happen without the former. Now, after saying that, I will point out there was only one moment in this entire competition that I felt was a sequence that was fresh and I hadn't seen it before. This isn't a diss, it's just a testimony of how hard it is to always do something new, especially if you've been around for a while. That moment for me was when Hector was doing the hand-to-hand -hand Charleston with his partner and augmented his footwork after the last hand-to-hand -hand kick. The overall execution could have been tighter if it was maybe like a, a strictly format because his partner would know exactly what's going to happen next, which for me makes it even more impressive that he was able to do what he did because in a Jack and Jill format, his partner doesn't even know what's gonna happen next until it does. So that was a really cool moment. Now, my favorite couple, that I felt who matched each other's tone the, the best was Malik and Hyungjung. Now, if you notice, there's not a whole lot of elasticity in their joints when they move. This makes their overall transitions look more rigid and sometimes faster. And because of that, their, their movements looked more crisp and precise whenever Malik suggested a break and Hyungjung responded in a way that added value to the break and on top of that, Malik didn't overshadow Hyungjong's little moments, and I love that. Now, since I have a little bit more context of both of these dancers and know generally how they express themselves, it's quite evident that they didn't have to make much of a sacrifice to match each other. But sometimes that's the benefit of being paired with a dancer who matches your tone. It's just the luck of the draw. It's like when a couple gets the trumpet solo when competing to a live band versus getting the tuba solo. <laughs> it's not even going to be close. Overall, they were my favorite to watch. Who was your favorite in this competition? Let me know. Uh, in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to help some of you in my class online. Take care.